ministry. We thank God for your being here. Amen. Glory to God from heaven. Amen. We thank the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again, God. We come before your presence, God. We come looking for word, God. We come to seek your face tonight. We come, Lord God, with a hand lifted up, Jesus. We come magnifying your name. We come glorifying your name. Spirit of God, may you move in this place, God. Cover us with the blood of Jesus Christ. Sanctify us tonight. Glory to God. Father, we praise you with our heart, God. We come like little hands, God. With our hands lifted up, Jesus, say hallelujah to your name. There's nothing greater than you. There's nothing greater than to worship you, Father. Have your way in this humble service, God. Touch us, oh God, tonight. Speak to us, Holy Spirit. Move by your anointing, Holy Ghost. We will give you praise. We will give you worship. We call on your name, Jesus. The name that is greater than all name. The name that cancer got a bow, diabetes got a bow, every name got a bow to your name Jesus we magnify you, move every obstacles out the way, every hindering spirit God have your way in here tonight God, we lift our hands before you in the precious name of Jesus Christ, move spirit of God we give you the glory, we give you the praise yes, oh Holy Spirit of God we cannot function without you so yes, we need you to come on in Spirit of God we yes. invite you in to come in now yes. speak to us Holy Ghost and we will yes. praise your name we will give you the glory thank you Jesus thank you and we are in our right mind tonight thank you Holy Ghost that no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper feed us with manna from heaven thank you Spirit of God we thank you thank you Jesus we thank you oh Spirit of God help us now to learn of you help us to learn how to bless you learn how to call on your name learn how to lay aside everything that easily beset us and run the same God help us Holy Ghost we cannot function now without you Spirit of God do it in this place and know it was fresh tonight with a word let your word take control God Holy God from heaven the power of the Holy Ghost we need more of you Spirit of God we need more of you cut us down Spirit of God cut us down that you may reign reign in this house oh God reign till it's an overflow reign oh God till it's an overflow we need your supernatural anointing break down walls pull down stronghold tonight break every yokes tonight destroy God every yoke in the name of Jesus Christ we say yes yes to your will yes to your purpose God we will not walk God we made up our mind tonight to trust you we're going to trust you tonight we're going to lean unto you tonight Jesus worthy is your name oh spirit of God do it in this place do it in this place do it in this place we're going to continue to praise you continue Lord to lift up your name mighty God counselor prince of peace way maker omnipotent omnipresent God offer and omega beginning and the end first and the last Jehovah Shinu Jehovah Jehovah Hallelujah God you are awesome name that we can't live without spirit of God we can't function without you oh God touch now tonight somebody listening tonight touch that individual God break down that barrier 
Genius. Break down that wall. Come on, shit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bring them into the gospel. Bring them into your house, God. Let your word, God, move again. Have free course. Let your blood prevail. Spirit of God, we give you glory. Thank we you, give Jesus. you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise. Uh, for demon trouble in this time, in the name of Jesus. Uh, demon backing up right now. Uh, shut your mouth, devil. Uh, demons got to back up. Uh, Holy Ghost, you are the power. You are the glory. Uh, everything about you is great. Almighty oh, God, I will say yes tonight. Oh, Spirit of God. Do it tonight, do it tonight, do it tonight. Uh, and we are going to continue to give you worship. We are going to continue, oh God, to magnify your name. Sweet God. Oh God, say your anointing. Say a double portion of your anointing. Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. We have, amen, the first runner up, amen, 
have a fresh word on tonight. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Come and let God use you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus says, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. Amen. And all Jesus wants to do is to be lifted up. Amen. All he asks, will you lift me up? That don't, don't do nothing else but lift me up. And I do the rest. Amen. Amen. Don't lift yourself up. Amen. Don't lift your neighbor up. Lift Jesus up. Je Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody said, Jesus. Jesus. Glory to God. He goes shut up my heart. He goes push the robot. He goes. He goes. He goes. He goes. Got to get the glory. He goes. Must be praised. Yeah. Who believe that? He goes. Shut up my heart. Glory to God. Hey, I'm a shit in my whole Shabbat. Jesus has got to be glorified. Come on, church. Who believe that? Amen. It's only Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When you were messed up, nobody could save you but Him alone. It was Jesus. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Who believe that? Glory to God. We thank God for Brother Robbie. Come on. Give God thanks for the man of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight I've just got a little quick word. Amen. I don't know how long we'll be here. I've got a little bit of sore throat. We're praying for you, brother. And I just had knee surgery last week, so I don't know how long I'm going to be standing. I might have to get a, oh, thank you, sir. I might have to get a chair and break down a chair. That's all right. Amen. We, we're going to do what we can do tonight. Amen. But if you got your Bible, turn with me to Acts, the seventh chapter. But first of all, uh, I want to try to name this thing. Okay. Amen. And I'm going to name it out of a scripture in Matthew 24. Okay. Verse 34. Awesome. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass mm -hmm. till all these things be fulfilled. I've got one little thing in that Acts that I want to read couple of scriptures that I want to let you know tonight that uh, one of the, the first martyr that was ever killed for the name of Jesus. Mm. His name was Stephen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Stephen saw something that many people don't get to see. They don't get to see Jesus on the right hand of the throne of God. Not many people get to see that. It doesn't matter if they're dying or if they're alive or what. Many people don't get to see that. But I fortunately get where I have, and I feel very fortunate. But Stephen was also a preacher. He was a deacon, but he's also a preacher. He preached, amen, Jesus. And as he was preaching one day, all these people got together around, you know, they began to get angry at him, get mad at him, and happens all the time. Oh man, don't it? Mm -hmm. But in verse 55 of the 7th chapter of Acts, it says, But he, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly into heaven. <coughs> Excuse me. Into heaven. <coughs> all right, let me get out of here. <clears throat> and saw the glory of God <clears throat> saw the glory of God and Jesus standing on the right hand of God and said behold I see <clears throat> heaven's open and a son of man standing on the right hand of God Ooh, come on brother brother that's on <laughs> You're all right, brother. You don't do it. Yes, bless him, Lord. Help him, Jesus. Call my shot. I want to take the first watch. 
But I'll tell you tonight, if we're Holy Ghost filled people, Amen. How many knows we're going to make some enemies? Oh yeah. <laughs> the devil is our enemy. From the time we get saved. Amen. Amen. But I'll but I'll tell you tonight, amen, as Stephen was preaching, they heard what they didn't want to hear. They heard that sin, that sin was sin. Amen. And church tonight, we got to preach it. <coughs> that sin is sin. Yes. We got to stop <coughs> playing with it. Amen. I would have mercy. You're doing good, brother. <coughs> But we gotta quit playing with sin. Yeah. I learned to name it for exactly what it is. Better say that now. Amen. I've been I've been in churches where sin was prevalent more than God. Mm. Oh God God told me this and God told me that and God told me this. God told me something else. But you know, the thing of it is if God tells you something, you'll do it. Mm -hmm. You'll not live like a devil when God tells you to do something. That now. Amen. And Stephen here was a man full of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. He was not a man that was weak and washy. <laughs> Amen, Brother Robin. Only. We're going to get through this yet. Amen. You're doing good, brother. Oh. But anyhow, when they had heard the things that Stephen had told them, <laughs> When they heard that Stephen, <coughs> well, <coughs> yes, touch him, Jesus. What Stephen had been preaching, they decided they wanted to get angry. <coughs> How many knows that people get mad at the drop of a hat? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Some people got the temper of a hat pin. Dropping on the floor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Been there myself. Been there myself, Praise brother. brother. I'm preaching. Right. But you know something? God has a way of dealing with people like that. Amen. You know, he'll, he'll take the sin, or he'll take that temper, begin to calm it back. Yes, he will. It. And he'll love you in. You know, now I can I, I can honestly say when Jesus said on me, he found me down in the bottom of a barrel with a hole in it. Because mm -hmm. he reached down below the barrel to get me. You got that from me. <laughs> and I, I'll be honest with you, he reached way down to get me. Mm. And you know, God God is a good God. Yes, he is. He is a good God. He turned me, washed my sins away, baptized me in the precious Holy Ghost, yes. and began to teach me. Amen. Began to teach me. And I never, I never stopped learning mm. about Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, but it says when they had heard these things, they were cut, <laughs> cut to the heart. Yes. <laughs> and they rushed upon him and they gnashed on him with their teeth. No words that started biting. Have you ever been bit by somebody? Man, that hurts. Well, I mean, that flat hurts. That's yeah, worse. Does. That's worse than the dog bite. Yeah. I mean, that hurts. But the thing of it is, they were they had gnashed on him and biting on him and beating on him, you know. And here's the thing. When he saw this, he looked up into heaven. He saw Jesus mm -hmm. sitting on the right hand of the throne of God. And they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord. That made them even madder when they heard that. Amen. How many know the devil doesn't want to hear what God's doing? Right. How many realize God, the devil don't want to know what God's doing in your life? Right. He wants to. He wants you to stand and say nothing. He wants you to sit in church and do nothing. You know, that, that, that's doing what the devil wants you to do. But here, here's the thing tonight. If we'll stand up for God, 
Tonight, I got, I'll be honest with you, I got really angry. I got angry at a fellow brother, and I didn't like it. Thinks he was doing the same. But that's God told him God now. Amen? Amen. We got to learn to allow God to handle certain things. And I'm sorry about my throat and everything, folks. But I'm going to preach this whether it's going to hear it the devil. We're going to enjoy doing that. Amen. It says that they cast him out of the city and they stoned him and the witnesses laid down their clothes at a young man's feet whose name was Saul. Mm. Saul was standing there. He was a, a young man. Mm -hmm. And he had just started, he was just starting, getting his uh, feet wet, mm. as you'll say, which go. Yeah. The thing of this church today, we got to get our feet wet with Jesus. Come on now. We got to get our feet wet in Jesus. Amen. Not in this world. We need to leave this thing alone. Leave this world alone. Put the things of the world behind us. Yes. Get away from this. <laughs> Bless him, Jesus. And do what God wants us to do. Amen. You know, they say, <coughs> well, well, you just want to, you just a liar. Amen. Oh. But you know, the devil ain't nothing but a liar. Amen. Every time you can tell, he's telling when he's lying to you, his mouth, his lips are moving. Amen, brother. Amen. How I many they run on somebody like that? Uh huh. They lie every breath. Boy, I've run into many of those folks. Can't do a few of them. <laughs> Can't do a few of them. <laughs> That's one thing I'm glad I'm not. I don't know my family. But you know, I don't care. I've got a great family right here. Yes, you do. I've got a good family. We love you, Brother Robin. This is my brothers and my sisters. I'm the last of my natural family. I have no other natural family except a son and daughter, two grand grandchildren, and that I love very, very much. And you know, Amen. we got to learn to fight for our people. Yes. We got to learn to fight for our people. Hey, there's not a lot of Christians in the world today compared to what the devil's got. The Bible Amen. says heaven enlarges itself every day, daily. Mm. Amen. Not just once every week or once a month. This is daily. Lord, have Largest us. itself daily. Mm. And heaven, it says there be a, a narrow, straight, narrow path that leads into heaven. He said, few be there <coughs> that find that path. You hear what I'm saying today? Yep. Church, we've got to learn to walk a holy way. Yes, we do. walk a holy path. And not not being uh, straying off on the right hand or on the left hand, but we got to learn to walk straight. Bless you, bless you. We got to learn to walk straight. This thing ain't no easy walk, but it's a good walk. It's a loving walk. But I'll tell you what Stephen found out. Amen. It can be very rough. It can be. It can kill you. The devil gets gets him out at you. He want to kill you. Amen. We better we better be glad. Some of us aren't like seven sons of Stephen. Come on, and brother. When they seen the demon and the man, they go over and try to cast the demon out. And it jumped on them and whooped off all seven of them. They run out naked and afraid. Mm. You know, amen. We got to realize who we are in God. But we got yes. power. Yes. We've got Holy Ghost power, rights, and authority. Right. Yep. We don't have to sit idly back. And nope. watch the devil do what he wants to do in our lives. Mm -hmm. We got power. We got authority. Amen. And one of the greatest power, more uh, one of the greatest weapons against the devil and the enemy, amen, is love. Amen. It's love. Yes. If I can't love my brother, how can that I have seen? How can I love God whom I haven't seen? Come on, brother. Hello? And this is basically what we need to know tonight. Love. we got to learn to love. Not just go off half-cocked, but we got to learn love. 
Amen. And you know, Stephen had much love for Jesus. Or he wouldn't have seen what he did. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You know, just before a saint dies, most of the time they'll see their relatives or they'll see Jesus or they'll see an angel coming and they'll say, angel's coming for me. Have you ever heard that? Uh-huh. It's true. It'd be true, people. I'm going to see Jesus. When it's my time, I'm going to see Jesus coming just for me. Amen. You hear me? Yes. I believe Jesus saw. I believe that's why he saw, that Stephen saw what he did. Amen, brother. He saw Jesus yes. coming for him. Right when he was on the ground and loving him. Oh, Rabbi you know, that, that just Rabbi makes Rabbi. me feel just so humble. Yes. That a God, a great big God that created us could love us so much. Could love us so much. And we're not worthy of his love. Mm. We're not worthy <clears throat> of his love. How much? It just boggles my mind, people. Boggles my mind. How a God, a Savior, could love us so much. And we do so much evil against him. Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't into a whole lot of evil, but Ooh, oh, I was threatening to kill somebody. I was plotting to kill somebody. I was just waiting for time and an opportunity. But you know, he died before, after I got saved. Jesus wanted me to say, get saved, but he wanted me to pray for that man before he died. And I was able to do that. And I think that was an honor. Man. I think Amen, that is an honor to Amen. pray for somebody that I hated for so long. Mm, come on, brother. You know, I, I, that, that just blows my mind. Jesus loves those. Loves us all. Mm. Amen. Amen. He loves us all. It's that much. Mm -hmm. That he died for us. Hallelujah. Yes, he did. Awesome. Hallelujah. But you know, so many are becoming stiff-necked and uncircumcised in the heart and ears. You better say that now, brother. Go ahead. They're yeah. becoming so hard-hearted they don't want to hear about God. Mm. They don't want to hear what Jesus can do. Yeah. They don't want to say, no, nah, I don't want to hear it. Don't even want to hear it. But you know what? If we're afraid of Jesus here on this earth, he'll be afraid of us before the Father. He'll be ashamed of us before the Father. Yeah. He'll say, I never knew him. I know the same shouting message. I can't, I'm not able to shout tonight. That's all right. And I'm doing good to stand here. Yes. <clears throat> but this is what's on my heart tonight, people. Mm. It's Jesus. And yes, his love. Yes, God. That's what's on my heart. Yes, God. This is what I preached up in Tennessee. Love. Yep. We saw a couple of miracles happen. Oh, yes. Just preaching the word love. Without even laying hands on people. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? God can do all things. Yes, he can. If we just have belief. All we have to have is a little measure of faith. Sure. The little measure of faith. Church, I'm sorry tonight's been kind of a rough night for me. Are you all right? I'm going to turn the mic over just to the next person. Amen, Brother Barry coming up. Hallelujah. Come on, Brother Barry. You got it, brother. God's got you, Brother Barry. pretty much pick up where Brother Robin left off. He mentioned a, a little bit of faith. And that's, that's what's been on my heart and mind. And I've been... One good thing is you get something like that on your mind and, and the Lord will put you in the book. He'll put you in the book, brothers. And he, I've read over a hundred different Bible verses looking for the right ones that I wanted to portray tonight. And, and I'd like to Start here with uh, James 1 3. Knowing is that he is testing and trying of the faith 
worketh in patience are precedents. Uh, we we got to keep faith in, in this, and just um, like it says in the Bible, a mustard seed of faith can take you far. And um, a lot of people lose faith along the way when they get in the valley and. In the valley, everybody knows it. It's a tough Amen, situation brother. down there sometimes. And having this faith, and I've seen people give up on the faith and give up on the Lord just because times get rough on them. Mm. But they, what they're not realizing is with that faith, you keep that faith, the Lord's going to bring you out of there and He's going to make you stronger for the next time. He, he's got a plan for you. He's always got a plan. And it, when His plan comes about, you have to be ready. Because the devil's going to hit you and he's going to hit you twice as hard as he did before. Come on, brother. Out of that one. So you he's better ready say that. this time. And which uh, I found uh, 1 Corinthians is watch ye stand fast in faith. Quit you like men. Be strong. Be strong and guard and stand firm in faith. Be courageous and strong. Do everything in love. With God's love and faith. There's, there's no mountain. There's no valley. There's nothing to stop us. We, we, are, we have an, a bountiful access to whatever in this world. It's, it's, all, it's for us. God made it all for us. Amen. So he wants us to have it. He wants us to take it and share it and share it with people. And my faith... I, I, I've always had faith in God, and every time I've gotten in my valley, I've, he's, he's testing me. He's making me stronger. That's just the way I've seen it, and, and I try to portray that to other people along my way. But I've not been a, a Christian too long, a, a born-again, true believer in Jesus. And, but I kept my faith in God, and then when I accepted Jesus Christ into my life, I, I, like Saul said, the scales come off my eyes. I was blind. And now yes. I, see, I see what just a little bit of faith. And I, I was able to see how far what little bit of faith I had in God until I got saved carried me. And and now that I, that I am born again and, and a follower of Jesus Christ, I, I, I see faith and I want faith to grow. And I try to portray that to my children. And, yeah. Praise God, both my tree, children have accepted Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And, and it's, it's a beautiful thing. It's one of the best things. And, and we're working on all the children, you know. At the, the future, that's, that's where it's at. Um, Brother HR, he, he baptized my, my, my stepson. Uh, Amen. Knighton. He's born again. Washed and... With, and the family come together in faith. Yes. And, and, and then to, to have this church in our fountain ministry come together as a family. Because we're a family here. This ain't no, this is not a church with a congregation. This is a family who gather and pray. Woo! Come on. Say and, that, brother. And I, I, I'm, I feel blessed every time I get a chance to meet with y'all. And this, this brother in meeting, I've been looking forward to it and just ain't been able to make it. And... I've been excited about this all week because I knew I had the day off and I was fixing to come in here. So I'm, I'm very blessed and proud to be here. Amen. Um, I'd like to touch on a few more Bible verses that really got to me. Um, the one of faith, faith without knowing. When, when you, you, we can't see God, but yet we, we have faith in Him. Us true believers, we we Amen. we know he's there. We felt the Holy Ghost upon us, but there's people out there that haven't felt that, that don't know, and faith without knowing is is, is a tough thing. You know, especially in, in a today's world when everything is so fast paced and you got access to information in, in the blink of an eye. And Hebrews eleven one, no faith is the substance of not. Of things not seen. Amen. And just because it's not seen don't mean it ain't there. We can't see it. <laughs> Amen. Yes. We feel it and we know it's there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's all kind of Brother Robin, poor Brother Robin, suffering from a sore throat. 
Got a little touch of virus or bacteria. Yes. We can't see it, but Brother Robin sure knows it's there. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, brother. Yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> and and you're doing great. I, I'm not a I'm not a real big speaker. I never have been one to get up and been a real shy fella pretty much my whole life. But you know, there's some things that need said and, and we have to we, we got to stand up and let the world know and let people around us know our brother and show them the love of Jesus and Amen. show them what can happen when, when you give your life to him. And having the, that kind of faith will just open doors for so many things and so many people. And who knows who you might touch? Somebody you don't think you'll ever reach. And, and Amen. next thing you know, they'll be asking, hey, what about that church you talk about? Can, can, is, can when anybody come? Is, is it open? Yeah, it's open right. with loving arms. Amen. Come on in there. And uh, I just like to uh, to close with. Uh, let's see which one I got to close with. I got a bunch of. Them. <laughs> <laughs> you all right, brother? <laughs> all right, uh, First Peter, one eight. Whom having not seen ye in love, and whom thought now you see him not. Yet believing ye rejoice with joy, unspeakable and full of glory. Wow. So that's what I wish upon all y'all. Amen. Evening. And anybody that's that's checking us out on Facebook Live. We got the whole family on here, brother. <laughs> <laughs> just to let them know that, that there's there's faith and, and love out there, and all you have to do is seek it. Yeah. Wife's watching too. Y'all. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, not much of a speaker. <laughs> Anyways, um, not much on where I'm not a minister on the word, but uh, I don't believe it and I like to hear it. But uh, I just like to tell my testimony, and it starts Amen. out by obeying. Obeying God is the part, first part of key of being submissive, of course. And uh, I was in the drugs, and, uh, and if it was sin, I was in it, Amen. and uh, and proud of it. <laughs> you know, I was no shame in my game. Hey, but uh, I experienced there was something that changed in me. You know, there was a uh, I just said there was misery. There was no misery. There was marriage misery. There was life misery. But there was a different misery that that came, and all I could do was just sit there and stare at the wall. And, I, and then I got locked up for a year and I run so far from that Bible when I get locked up and uh, but something changed in that time uh. and it didn't happen when I was in there that time for the year but when I got out I got home my wife shabbed up everywhere there's you know the, the tweakers everywhere and I just took a walk down the railroad tracks I said, Lord, I, what do I do? And uh, I got to get out of this situation. I can't do this no more. And it's the first time I heard God's notion. And when God speaks, you know it. Because it, 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 there's no way I'm going to think, hey, go back to where I was because I'm better off there than I am here. And uh, so I did everything possible to get probation violation again and go back to where I was. But for those four months that I waited for them to put a warrant out, I stared at the wall in misery. And I was still partaking of the devil's play playground. Uh oh. And because I didn't know what else to do. It's all I knew. I know my mom, she's in church, is, uh, raised Pentecostal apostolic, and I attend an apostolic church now over in Watsonville. And, uh, <coughs> but <clears throat> then, but I, I couldn't, just go to a church and cry out. I couldn't, I had to, I had to first be obey. I had to obey God. So when I first got locked up, I thought it was my own thoughts. And uh, I made a rational decision. But six months into the PDC, I surrendered God. I raised my hands. And this is after church service. Mm. I raised my hands. I just gave it all to God. And he, mm. he went from, I felt the spirit go from my head to my feet and up again. And I was speaking in tongues. Come on, brother. And there was about, about eight other people there with the Holy Ghost. 
And uh, yes, I now, love this it. is George's Department of Corrections now, <laughs> and uh, we're we're all broken, and uh, and man, they were speaking in tongues. I was speaking in tongues, and I looked at the officers, and the officer, she was like pressed up against the wall, like she couldn't say nothing. It was like God just put a hand on her. Bow. Wow. You know, I got back to the dorm and I shouted, I got the Holy Ghost! And I wow. ran around the dorm and the guys that knew what I was talking about, they was like, yeah. And then there's the guys like, there was one guy, he's come up to me, he's like, ah, you sure? You just didn't fake that. I said, have you ever surrendered to God? Have you ever got on your knees? And surrender to pray to God like, and, and want his acceptance like you do these gangbangers that you're trying to impress. Come on, man. Because no, I said, until then, don't tell me this is fake. Because Come if on. I die tonight, I know I'm going to heaven. Yeah. 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 And the whole dorm I say, and they saw it changing me, and I kept throwing it. Want to throw the Holy Ghost like a softball into him because I just wanted Come to on, feel brother. it. Amen, brother. And the guy gave me back my house. He's gave me back my license. He gave me a good job. He's he's giving me everything back. I got, yeah, I got. Oh, 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 it is awesome. Yes, God. And I'm glad. No, I don't believe in, you know, There, there's always a reason why, especially when it comes to God, why we run into each other and things have happened. And, uh, Amen. Uh, this is pretty cool, guys. i love to hear somebody else uh, bring some good word, brothers. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'll go. Go. That's awesome. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah, brother. Oh, thank you. Oh, awesome, awesome. Hallelujah. Thank yeah, you, Jesus. Lord. Lord is moving tonight. People are all over the internet getting blessed tonight. Come on now. Souls are being touched right now watching the video. I mean, yeah. people I never thought of tuning in and tuning in and yeah. the Holy Ghost is showing up on their side as well. So right. he's here, he's there, he's everywhere. Hallelujah. Yeah. Delight Shamba said you can't outrun the Holy Ghost. You can't live without God. Amen. Yeah. You can't live without God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh well, glory, hallelujah. If you got your Bibles, turn with me to the book of Isaiah, one of my favorite books. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1. Amen, hallelujah. <laughs> Pastor Roger, open right up to it. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1. And I'm entitling this message today, Rise, or tonight, Rise and Shine. Ain't that appropriate? <laughs> Rise and shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord rises upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. Did you just catch that? It said gross darkness the people. There are people who are so dark, it looks like there couldn't be any kind of light shining from their spirit. But it said a gross darkness shall cover the people. Lord, have mercy on this generation. Thank you, Jesus. But it said... But the Lord shall arise upon thee, bless God, bless God, and his glory shall be seen upon you, upon you, upon all of us that are shining with the true light of the glory. Now in the South, y'all know we have one saying, rise and shine. When you're waking somebody up in your house, rise and shine. That's what God's telling the people that day. Rise up and shine. Arise and shine for your light has come. It said for your light is come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. 
world. He said, let your light so shine that men would see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. He's a shining example of what we're supposed to be in Him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He is the shining example of what we're supposed to be in Him. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's time we learn to rise and shine. You know, Jesus said, let them work while there is still light. For the hour is coming when no man shall work. So I'm entitling this message tonight, Rise and Shine. There's a time that the people are asleep, even in God, and people need to wake up. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I just read that earlier, Matthew 5. I spoke it earlier, Matthew 5, 15 through 16. Thank you, Jesus. Let your light so shine. I actually go to verse 15. Neither do me a light a candle and put it under a bushel and put it under a bushel but on a candlestick and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before all men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. But notice I just caught a revelation there, Brother Robin. It said the light was in the house and it was dark. In the house of God today, there's a darkness that's covering the house of God. There's a dim lit people in this world today. You've heard of dim wits? There's a lot of dim lits in the church today. There's a lot of people that ain't got the light so shining for the world to see. They look at them and they're going out into the club on Saturday and going to church on Sunday and they're seeing them and saying, well, if you're going to live like us, why should we serve your God? There's no change in them, so there won't be change in the other people listening because they don't see the light shining. They're just as dark as they are trying to pretend to be the light. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. There's a lot of dim-witted people in the world today and a lot of dim-witted people. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says that we see dimly through a mirror right now. There's a shadow stopping us from seeing fully like we need to sometimes. There's a dim-lit light. We see dimly through a mirror. But there's a day coming where we will see him as he is. We will be as he is. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. But we got to work while there's still light. The, the, the mirror is dimming because the darkness is getting even more into the world. But the flame is still burning, casting a shadow upon the world. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Go over here to Matthew 25. 1 through 10, and we're going to break down the 10 virgins for you. Hallelujah. Matthew 25, 1 through 10. Thank you, Jesus. Are y'all getting blessed so far tonight? Amen. 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 Bless God. Bless God. I'm glad my sister Tanya's watching tonight, and I'm glad everybody else is tuning in. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. This is church tonight. Thank you, Jesus. This ain't just a get together. This is a God's got it together. <laughs> God got it together so all the men can get something tonight. And everybody tuning in can get something tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. For it said, they that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. Now that's going to be important in a minute. Thank you, Jesus. While the bridegroom, now check this out. It said they took no oil for their vessels, but the wise took oil for their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, hallelujah, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight, that's what we're in right now, the midnight hour. We're 11.59 to midnight right now in the spirit. We're 11.59 to about 58 seconds 
so the trumpet sounded. Come on, can I have an amen? amen? We're about to see the Lord split the sky. Thank you, Jesus. Bless God. Come on. Amen. He's coming with 10,000 of his saints. But that's when he finally comes back to rule and reign on the earth. But check this out. He's coming back with a cloud of witnesses. There's going to be a whole bunch of people. Now, he's coming as a thief, and those ain't ready going to miss him. But there's a cloud that's going to be with him. My family's in that cloud. Those who's born again in our family, they're in that cloud of witnesses. Thank you, Jesus. And they're going to see him. They're going to be with him. And oh, how that ruble shot out come us. When it says he's coming in the clouds, I believe it's the cloud of witnesses. They're going to part. They're going to step aside because Jesus is coming through with all power and glory. Reigning King of kings and Lord of lords. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But the church has got to wake up because it said the bridegroom was coming. But look at this. The wise and the foolish both slept. The church ready and the church that ain't ready. They were both a part of the vessel, but only one was filled. Oh, One of the vessels was filled and the other was revealed. It looked like it had some substance in it. The lamp looked like it was filled. But let me tell you, the lamp wasn't filled until Christ oh, was revealed. The lamp, they had to have the oil to get into the bridegroom's chamber. To get into the, to the wedding banquet, they had to have the oil that didn't spoil. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Glory to God. I'm not going to be before you much longer, but I hope you're enjoying the word. Thank you, Jesus. But the wise took their oil in their vessels. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight, there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. But I want you to look at that. It said that the bridegroom delayed his coming. He purposely tarried to see who was willing to be ready for his coming. It, at no, at a moment's notice, they, he wanted to see who would really be ready at the moment of the midnight cry. Thank you, Jesus. So at the midnight cry, Jesus called for them that was ready to come into the banquet. But after that, now watch this. Thank you, Jesus. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all the virgins arose and trimmed their lamps, and the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. They didn't even have their lamp lit. They had no oil to light their lamp with. They, oh, shake kabasa. They were living off the reflection of the righteous and making it, I just heard the Holy Ghost say that, making it look like they was appearing holy, living off the reflection of the righteous, but yet they had no lamp to burn. They had no oil in their lamp, but they was living off the reflection of the righteous's lamp. Bless God. And at midnight there was a cry that said, Amen, thank you, Jesus. They both raised up, trimmed their wicks, got their heart supposedly right. One set was right. The other had it almost right. And the foolish said unto the wise, give us some of your oil for our lamps are gone out. Then the wise answered saying, not so lest there be not enough for us and you, but go ye rather to them that sell the oil and buy for yourselves. You can't take what I've got and live off of it. You can't live off of my salvation. You can't live off of my shine. You got to get your own from the throne and live in God. Thank you, Jesus. I hope the people of God feel the Holy Ghost tonight. Thank you, Jesus. You can't do it without God. 
That's right. They said they had a form of godliness, but they denied the power. See, First Thessalonians chapter. Hold on one second. First Thessalonians five and five. You got your Bibles? Go there now, and this is the last scripture. And God gave me a word for you, brother, and I'm going to release it at the end of this. First Thessalonians five five. Thank you, Jesus. You are all the children of light. Thank you, Jesus. Wait a minute. Let's go to verse 4. But ye, brethren, are not in the darkness, that that day the trumpet sounded should overtake you as a thief. You are the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of the darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. He's saying, wake up, church. He's saying, wake up. Smell the coffee because he brews. Hallelujah. <laughs> Bless God. Wake up and smell the coffee. Bless God because he brews. He, he's saying, wake up, church. Wake up and smell the coffee. Get up out of your sleep. I'm calling for, as a prophet of God, I'm calling for them dry bones to get up out of that valley. Rise up and walk, says the Lord. Rise up, for this is the finest hour that you'll ever see, says the Lord. This is the greatest hour for your life. And thus saith the Lord, I will use you. I have not forgotten my promise to you. And the Lord says, I am anointing you even afresh, says the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now, brother, I can't remember. I think your name is Chris, right? What name? Shane. Shane. Brother, I see the Lord using you. You said you wouldn't a minister. I see it in you. Let me tell you, I see the prophet of the Holy Ghost in you. You will be a prophet and you will be used of God, not just here in the church, but you're going to go back to the prisons and you're going to minister to those that are bound up and you're going to free them from within the walls of the prison. They're going to walk free because God is anointing you. Even now, you didn't come of your own accord. God brought you here to put you in the anointing position. Let me see. Oh, is this all right if I just go a little bit in, in the spirit? Let me see. Oh, come here, brother. Men of God gather around him. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. God said, I've seen your heart even today. And he is putting the deliverance ministry within you. For I hear the Holy Ghost say that the anointing that breaks and destroys the yoke the breaker anointing is here and it's going to rest on you the rest of your life. For the Lord said you will be a deliverance minister. You will be a prophet, declares the spirit of the living God. Lord, I thank you. I touch him as you tell me to touch him. I release the anointing. The anointing that destroys the yoke. Yes. I lay it on my brother tonight. In Jesus' name, the mantles that rest on me rest on him now and forever. Fire! 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 I hear God say, Roar, line! Roar, line! God's giving you a roar like a lion, and you will roar. And in the places you go, people will be touched even by your shadow. And God shall say unto you this day, For I have chosen you for this greater work for these last days, says the Lord, greater and greater still, higher and higher still, deeper and deeper still. Bless God, I'm calling you, says the Lord, and I will make myself known even to you in dreams and visions. You will dream dreams. You will dream visions. Have you been waking up like about 2.33 in the morning yet, brother? Not yet, but you will. God said he's going to wake you up in the morning hour about 3 o'clock. That's when he wants you to pray. That's when the prophets pray. So about 3 o'clock, God is going to start waking you up. I don't know when, but I know it's soon. 
And at 3 o'clock, he's going to tell you to pray. He's going to give you visions. You're going to have trips to heaven. You are going to walk in the prophetic. And you're going to do the things that God showed you in the word of God. He said, but the spirit is now moving upon you. And now you shall cast out devils. Now you will heal the sick. Glory. <laughs> The Lord said, the more you fast and the more you pray, the more I'm going to manifest myself through you, says the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm going, to, I'm going to tell you this right now. The Holy Ghost told me to tell you. Do you already play worship music before you go to bed or play it in your house? Yes. Okay. Is it playing 24-7? Well, anytime I play music, yes. Okay. I, worship. I know that. I'm just saying, is it playing 24-7? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay, well, good. Because I'm seeing you playing music in your house 24-7. Right. And the atmosphere is being set. The Lord said, my Shekinah glory is soon to appear at your house. Amen. And he said, you will be overtaken by my glory, says the Lord. Amen. And I will take you places in the Spirit, declares God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory, yeah. Mary, i got to say this before I... Shut my mouth tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Actually, I just heard the Lord say something, but you too, Pastor. I didn't know I was going to do this. Had no clue. Bless God. Oh, God. Barry, let me tell you something, brother. Because of your obedience tonight, I rebuke the attack of the enemy. I rebuke any spirit of retaliation. Thank you, Jesus. Because let me tell you, God has given you a voice to those that don't have a voice. He's given you a voice of reason in the midst of chaos. He's giving you a peace, and I hear the Lord say a steadiness to your voice. I hope that makes sense. A steadiness to your voice. The Lord said, as I spoke through Moses, I'm using your vocal cords, says God, and you will be my staff, says God. You will lift up the staff of the word, and as you bring forth the word, says the Spirit of God, Barry, as you bring forth the word, the word through you will tear down barriers, says God. In Jesus' name, anointing, fresh anointing. In the name of Jesus. Visit him in dreams and visions, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Pastor, I hear the Lord say, because of your humbleness, to open up this home. He said, you've already opened up your home. And because you've already opened up your home and made me feel at home. God said this church is not religious oriented. It's relationship, as Brother Barry said, oriented. And because of it being a family atmosphere, God being the head of the family, God says, well done. You ain't finished the right shit. But God says to tell you, well done. Good and faithful servant. Continue what I've showed you, and the Lord said, I will bring it speedily to you, declares the Lord, for your obedience and willingness. He said, for your heart is that of David in my eyes. And the Lord said, your humble heart has touched heaven's ears. And the Lord said there were some things you prayed even two nights ago. Am I right? There was something you prayed about two nights ago. He said, I heard you when you prayed. And that's a confirmation you said it. I heard you when you prayed two nights ago. I see you kneeling down by the bed. I hear God say, Call up by, am I right? Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I see you kneeling down by the bed. And he said the request that you made at the throne has already been released from heaven. And though the enemies tried to delay it, the Lord said it will come speedily to you. And the Lord said, <clears throat> I got to say this. I didn't know I was going to prophesy tonight. The Lord says to tell you, I hope this makes sense. The answer is yes. You asked God a question two nights ago in prayer, amen? Yes. The answer God said is yes. He said, you're getting the answer tonight. Before the provision, he said, I gave you the vision. Now I'm giving you the provision to carry the vision, says the Spirit of God. And the Lord says to tell you, the answer is yes. He said, because you put it before him as a petition, and as a request, the Lord said, I've stamped it 
in my throne room. He said, I've stamped it sealed by my blood. That prayer was sealed by the blood. And he said the answer is yes. And now it comes forth speedily in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Peace. 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 Because the enemy's trying to steal your peace over what you requested before God. Amen. Am I right? Amen. But God says your peace returns now to you that I gave you. And the answer is yes. So move forward in peace, son, says the Lord. For this is of me. This is my design. And the Lord says, I've given it to you. And the world can't take it away. Amen. Says the Spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Bless God. Bless God. Robin. You ain't done yet. I heard the Lord say again, you ain't done yet. You ain't done yet. You ain't done yet. Sometimes you feel inadequate, but God says you're not inadequate. For I have ordained you and sustained you for this time. Now you will see greater than you saw even in your youth. For the Lord said you are like Caleb. Give me my mountain. And the Lord says I'm giving you the next few years. And he said, I, I, he said, I will increase your days. The Lord said, you will not die yet. Death cannot touch you. I feel the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. I'm almost done. I promise I wasn't going to do this, but I'm just being moved in the spirit. You will prophesy again. You will see again. You will hear again clearer than you ever heard before. And just by what you say to people, they're going to know a prophet's been in their midst. And they're going to repent before God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Don't be weary, I hear God say, in well-doing. For the Lord says, you're getting ready to reap your harvest. He said, what you've sowed in tears, you will now reap in joy, declares the Lord. He said, your time of trouble is ending. He said, weeping has endured for the night. I know nothing except what God's telling me. But brother, he said, joy comes in the morning. You're going to wake up and I believe there's going to be a new joy all over you, brother. Peace. Peace. Be still in my brother's heart. Joy returns back to him in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to hand over the mic to somebody else. Somebody take the mic. My brother Herman. There you go, brother. Oh, brother. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, brother oh. Herman. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Amen. <coughs> what I am about to discuss may quite likely turn off a lot of people. First, mm. let me make this point quite clear. I am not the perfect example. I have had my share of problems in my life. I am not living my share of the abundant life. I have not arrived, but I have left. The words that you hear me say are not my own. They belong to my mentor who sent me. And who Lord. And he is getting supernatural results in his life. Amen. He has even seen his own son raised up after being dead for five hours and starting to turn black. Oh. Unless you are receiving better results, you ought to at least consider the things that I am saying. 
the word says that he that receiveth whosoever I send receiveth me. Amen. <clears throat> Jesus sent Andrew Warmack. Andrew Warmack sent me. Therefore, Jesus sent me. I really believe that this is one of the most important things that I can share with you. Today, I am going to talk about something that is really dear to my heart. <clears throat> Amen. I mean, this has been a direction that God has given me. It has affected my entire life and everything that I am doing. And I am going to start talking about discipleship, making disciples instead of just converts. I know that when I introduce this, some of you may think that, man, that does not sound like something that is going to be meaningful to me. But I can tell you, whether <clears> this <throat> title interests you or not, this is something that is at the core of Christianity. Although many of you will not immediately identify with what I am about to say, I encourage you to listen and give me an opportunity. This is going to make a huge difference in your personal life. It is going to answer a lot of questions for you. One of the major benefits of this is it is going to make you a hundred percent more effective in your ministry to other people. It will also give you a lot of understanding about why the body of Christ is ineffective in many ways. One of the things that disturbs me is if we have so many people that are claiming the name of the Lord, then why are not we seeing our nation moving in a more godly direction? It seems like it is marching in exactly the opposite direction. That same principle applies in families on many uh -huh. different levels. On a family level, husbands and wives cannot get along. The divorce rate among Christians is higher than it is among non-Christians. I say all of this in advance of telling you what the subject is so that you would not turn me off and say, you do not need this, or that does not sound interesting to me. The Lord started dealing with me about making disciples. <clears throat> this is what has turned my life into the direction Amen. of being a teacher rather than a preacher. Mm. Now, yeah. I'm using some terms that, and talking about things that most people would just use interchangeably. And they act like they are the same thing, but they are not. And as I talk about this, I am going to be explaining things that I can guarantee will make a huge difference in your life. Amen. If when I mention the word discipleship, 
making disciples yes. instead of converts, if that does not just make your heart get excited, then I guarantee you that you have Amen. missed some revelation someplace. Yes. This is really what the kingdom is all about. And this would solve problems. Amen. This will change nations. Amen. It has been seen to change people. Discipleship has literally been seen to impact nations. <laughs> I will be giving more detail on this. I'm, I'm trying not to jump ahead on this. I have some charts and things that uh, how discipleship can literally impact nations. Mm. The principles of discipleship have led to meetings with the presidents and the first lady of some nations. Uh -huh. It is making a powerful difference. Amen. What I am going to be talking about is discipleship. I will be specifically contrasting discipleship with the way that evangelism has typically been done in the body of Christ. One of the major points that I hope to accomplish in this series is that if the emphasis is on discipleship instead of converts, we would actually evangelize people using discipleship evangelism rather than through the way that evangelism is being done, which is evangelism discipleship, mm, where you evangelize and maybe discipleship comes later. Mm. No, you make a goal of making disciples and, the, and in the process mm -hmm. of trying to make disciples, I guarantee you that you will evangelize people. You Amen. will see people's lives change. Amen. This method, I <clears throat> promise you, will make a large difference in you. Then, if you adopt these things and begin to walk in it, not only would it change you, but you would be able to start impacting other people on a level that you have never done. Amen. Many of you think that these are things that do not apply to you. I ask you to take my word that this is something that you need to understand. The lack of understanding, this is a major reason why we Christians are not experiencing the healing, prosperity, deliverance, and relationships. It is why the church is not making the impact on our society that God intended for us to do. The body of Christ as a whole does not have this discipleship mentality. Mm -hmm. What we have is certain people, such as pastors mm -hmm. or TV or radio ministers, mm -hmm. and we believe that those people have a special anointing on their lives. Basically, the body of Christ is depending on, on God to funnel his ministry, gifts, and all of his power 
through them. Some of the applications that uh, of this applies to our healing. Many people do not know how to receive the healing power that God has made available to every one of us. It is God's will that every single person be well. Amen. Not a single person is supposed to be sick, Christians and non-Christians. <clears throat> he has already paid for the sickness and disease of the entire world. Mm. For what saith the word? For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together waiting for the manifestation for the manifestation of the sons of God. It is never God who fails to heal. Mm. Yet the vast majority of Christians mm. are not experiencing healing. Not because God has not provided it, but because they do not know how to receive it. One of the reasons that they do not know how to receive it is that they have not been discipled. Mm. They have not reached a place of maturity where they can reach out and take their healing mm -hmm. and then train others to do the same. Now, I know that that was a long introduction. Nevertheless, I believe that that was necessary to introduce the things that are yet to come. Amen. What I am going to focus on, and this is the part that I really want to lift up, unity in the body of Christ among the saints as it relates to the Great Commission. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Before I get to the Great Commission, let us first understand that the introduction to the Great Commission and its application to unity of the body of Christ comes from the last words of Jesus as he was about to depart mm. from this physical world. Amen. First, let us look at Ephesians 4, 8, 13. Here beginneth the reading of God's holy word. What was that verse again, brother? What was the verse? Ephesians 4, 13. 4, 8, 13. Ephesians 4. <clears throat> Ephesians 4, 8, 13. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Amen. Now that he ascended, what is it that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? Mm -hmm. Then he that descended is the same also that ascended up above the, in the heavens above all things. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfection of the saints for the work of the ministry 
for the edifying of the body of Christ till we all come into the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man until the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Here ended the reading of God's holy word. Amen. From here, I could do an entire teaching on the authority of the believer, but I'm not. Instead, what I'm going to talk about is Jesus gave gifts to men in order for the saints to fill the work of the ministry. The people who had the gifts were the clergy or the administrators, the apostles, the evangelists, mm, amen. the pastors, and the teachers. For without a vision, the people perish. Nevertheless, the ones who are called to do the work of the ministry are the saints in general. The church is called to do the work of the ministry. Not only the man at the front called the pastor. Mm. When the pastor teaches and equips the saints for mm -hmm. the works of service and they go <clears throat> and do them, that is true success. Amen. Now, what is the work of the ministry that the saints are called to do? The point being <clears throat> that there is an expectation that or for unification of the body of Christ in doing the work of the ministry. Amen. Let's look at what that work is. Let us look at Matthew 28, 18, 20. Matthew 28, 18, 20. Here beginneth the reading of God's holy word. Amen. Matthew 28. 1820. And Jesus came and said unto them, saying, All power is given unto me. Heaven and earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Let us be clear. This teaching is expected to come from the saints and is not limited to the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, and the teachers. Yes, God has anointed them with a special anointing on their lives. Yet, the purpose of their anointing is to teach the saints how to teach those in the world. Amen. This teaching of those in the world is not a two-week sermon. 
for those in the world are to be taught all things. The word that is translated teach is disciple. It is translated this way in most Bible translations. A disciple is like his master. He is a pupil, a learner, a follower, and a scholar. It is impl implying something similar to what we would call an apprentice. Where you not only sit and get instructions, but you apply it and put the things you are taught into practice under the apprenticeship of a master teacher. I believe that one reason why people have knowingly in Jesus instead of going out and making uh, disciples, they have went out to make converts in direct opposition to what Jesus commanded us to do is because they see the situation. They see the statistics of how many people die every day without knowing Jesus. Thus, they enter into a crisis mentality. They feel compelled mm -hmm. to make as many people born again as they can and as fast as they can. <laughs> Amen. Their priority is put, put on conversion. We, the church, have not been making disciples. We have been making converts instead. Mm. Come on now. That's this good. Is why so many of us, although we have a real relationship with the Lord, mm -hmm. and when we die, we will go to meet the Lord. Still, many of us are bitter, miserable, sick, angry. There is unforgiveness. Many of us are depressed living in poverty, dealing with strife, rejection, hurt, and failed marriages. The divorce rate of Christians is higher than the divorce rate in the world. Wow. God forbid. Amen. We are not living the abundant life, and it is because of this very issue. We are making converts and not disciples. When I say we, the church, have not been making disciples, I am talking about a large segment of the church. There are churches that are doing a marvelous job. But a large segment of the church is not making disciples. Mm. To, towards the objective of focusing unity of the body of Christ on the Great Commission, mm -hmm. we should give serious consideration to establishing Bible colleges particularly those of us who are retired and have some time on our hands. Mm -hmm. yes. We have the space that is underutilized. Mm -hmm. The mission of the church as a whole is to teach people how to teach saints. Mm -hmm. To have a six month or even a year lesson plan to teach students what to say, what questions to ask, what homework assignments to give, 
We do not have to start from scratch. There are those who have written these things down for our learning through obedience to the word of God that we would not cause God's plans to be go alive. For what did Samuel say to Saul? 1 Samuel 15, 13. Thou has done foolishly. Thou has not kept the commandments of the Lord our God. Let there be unity in the body of Christ towards the end of go ye therefore and teach all nations. Do not sit back and wait for those who were given the gifts to do. You do it. Amen. If you do not know how, establish a school that teaches saints how to teach non-saints. It does not have to be an accredited school. And you can do it for free. Man. At some point, you may have to or want to charge for a profit. But start from where you are. Go ye therefore and teach all nations and teach them all things. The spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet. So I'm going to end on that note. Amen. And God bless you. Amen. Yes. God bless you too, brother. Amen. Amen. You guys leave me for the last, huh? Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Are we excited so far what God is doing? Yes, amen. 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 I'm excited. Amen. We have been feasting on the word. Amen. Have we been blessed? Amen. Glory to God. God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. God is doing a new thing. Glory to God. I say, will you not know it? Amen. You will know when he do a new thing. Amen. Uh, I'm going to cap off tonight. Amen. Not going to be long. I'm just talking a little bit in Isaiah. You turn to turn your Bible to the book of Isaiah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Certainly thank God for Shane being here tonight. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I enjoyed that testimony. Glory to God. Amen. 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 The book of Isaiah chapter 6. Amen. Glory to God. Reading from verse 1. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. You got it? Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Bible says that in a year that King and Israel had died, I also saw the Lord sitting up on the throne, ah. high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the cherubim, each one had six men, with three they covered his face, and with three they covered his feet, and with three they did fly. And one cried unto another, and said, Holy, 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 is the Lord of hosts, and the whole earth is full of his glory. Amen. And the post of the door was broke by the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Amen. Then threw one of the servants unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken of the, the tongue up from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Who? 
this has touched thy lips and thy iniquity is taken away and thy sin purge. Glory to God. Father, I thank you for, for your word and tonight, God, for the remainder of this few minutes, God. Yes, God. May you touch, Lord God. May you anoint, may you fill, may you cover, may you bless, Father. In Jesus' name, God, we thank you for your word. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for yokes being destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. We, we certainly really thank God for his word. Amen. 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 The book of Isaiah. Isaiah the prophet. Amen. Glory to God. Isaiah the, the prophet. The prophet with a voice. This is a season where God is calling his prophet with a voice. Somebody say a voice. With a voice. A voice. A voice. We're going to have to have a voice. Amen. The Bible said, in the year that King Israel died, I saw, I also saw the Lord sitting up on the throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. I saw. I saw. I saw also the Lord. Amen. I saw also the Lord sitting up on the throne. Amen. Amen. You gotta understand that prophet of giving eyes to see. Prophet gave eyes to see. And the Bible said that when the king died, he said, I saw. Sometimes some stuff in your way have to die first before you can see what God is showing you. Amen. Glory to God. So death has to be occur in your life before deliverance can take place. Amen. Amen. He said, I saw when he died, then I saw. Glory to God. When he moved out the way, then I saw. Glory to God. So some stuff could stop you from seeing the Lord himself. Amen. Yeah. And I see that God is taking some stuff out of the way. Somebody says, take it out of the way, God. Take, take it out of the way, God. God is removing some stuff out of the way that you can really see his glory. Amen. Glory to God. Who believe that? Yes. I said, who believe that? Amen. Yes. Amen. Move it out of the way that I can see the glory. The Bible said he saw serve him. Amen. With six wings. Glory to God. He got a vision of God. He got a vision of heaven. Got a vision of the throne. Amen. And he cried, the Bible say, and one cried to another, say, Holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And an angel is, is worshiping God, amen, in amen. heaven. Come on, somebody say, amen. in heaven. Amen. amen. And the Bible says in verse number four, it says, and the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried. Ooh, amen. The and the house was filled with his smoke. Smoke meaning glory. The house was filled with his glory. Yes. Amen. And the seas where God going to fill the house with his glory. Come on, somebody say, fill the house, God. Fill the house with your glory. Amen. And the house was filled with his glory. And then the Bible said in verse 5, and it said, then, then said I, woe is me, glory to God. And you know, what prayer now, what prayer will do, prayer, prayer will show you who you are. Prayer, when you get in the presence of God, you'll recognize that I'm a wretched person, glory to God, need of a savior. That's, that's what prayer does. When you get in the presence of God, you recognize that you're nobody. Amen. I need God to deliver me. Come on, church. Oh, God. The Bible says in the presence of the Lord with the fullness of joy. And when you get in the presence, that's when joy comes. Somebody said joy is coming. Woe is me, for I am undone. Amen. Because there's nobody perfect but Jesus himself. Nobody, amen, is glorious except God. Nobody have it all going on except Jesus himself. Amen. amen. We say, what is me? Ah, for I am, I am undone because I am a man with unclean lips. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. 
That's why when we, 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 we get up in the morning, we have to cleanse ourselves. You've got to renew your mind because the word is messed up. Come on now. We recognize that in the day that, that the word is messed up. They may force around us. They curse and they do all, uh, all ungodliness around us. Amen. And you've got to be careful who you fellowship with. Come on now. Be careful who you fellowship with. Be careful who you let in your circle. Come on now. Be careful who you who you talk to, amen, to share your problem with, glory to God, he said, I dwell among men with unclean lips, amen, so some stuff rub off on him, come on, he was a prophet, amen, he was a prophet of God, but some stuff that need to cleanse, come on somebody, his lips need to be cleansed, something need to be cleansed in him, before God fix it to use you, he will cleanse you first, you will put a word in you, cleanse you first and put a word in your mouth. Amen. Yeah. Somebody said, I need cleansing. I need cleansing. I need cleansing. <laughs> Woe is me if I am undone. Amen. That means I'm not ready. I'm not ready yet. I'm undone. I'm not done. I'm not, I'm not ready to be used by God. Amen. Hallelujah. But when he recognized that he was not ready, he recognized that he was not worthy to be used by God. And this is what God is using, we're using this in the season that he wants you to cry out to him. Will you cry out to him saying, I am not worthy to be used by you. I need to be cleansed. I need some cleansing going on. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. The Bible said you came for new wine into old skin. Come on now. You will burst. So your vessels got to be clean. Come on church. Who believe that? Amen. You got to have some cleansing going on on the inside. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ in me, the Bible said, the hope of glory. Amen. So sometimes you're going to have to purge yourself for God to use you. You got to get down on your knees sometime and purge yourself in the Holy Ghost. You can't talk to me without the Holy Ghost. Don't talk to me without no anointing upon your life. Don't talk to me without God laying hands on you. You got to have to have power in the Holy Ghost. To speak to me. Hello, oh, hey. Shaka Baba. Gotta well, spend some time with God. Woe is me. I recognize I'm no good without Jesus. Recognize I need Jesus to walk with me through this thing. Amen. Recognize. Moses said, if you don't go with me, God, I ain't going. I ain't going. If your glory ain't going with me, I ain't going. We need God to walk with you. Amen. Glory to God. Too many preachers walking without the Holy Ghost. Walking without a now word. Come on, church. Walking without the power, but you need the power of God to survive. You need the power of God to reign. Amen. Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. Got to recognize that you need him in the morning. And I need him in the noonday. I need Jesus with the sun going down. Look at your neighbor said, I need Jesus. Empower me for greatness. You ain't that good. You ain't that handsome. You need God on your side. To get you to your destination. Your next destination. Gonna take the power of the Holy Ghost. Holy God from heaven. You probably ain't shut your mouth and sit down and wait on God. Wait till God speak to you. Wait till the Holy Ghost touch your tongue. And make you whole. Somebody said, I need to make you whole. I need God to make me whole. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Bless him, bless him. Come on, bless him. I need the Holy Ghost to give me the power to live right. Jesus said, lift up your hands, O holy people, and let the King of glory come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord God Almighty. Come on now, who is the King of glory? Jesus is the King of glory. Lift up your head, O ye gates. And let the king of glory come in. Yes. Amen. You gotta learn how to lift up your head. Yes. And when God comes in, let the anointing come in. Oh, that 
break down the walls, break down our position. You ain't that good. Come on, church. Cleanse yourself. Let every man examine himself with fear and trembling. Hold the God from heaven. We need more power. Look at your neighbor said, I need the power. I need the power. Um, you receive power since you believe. We need the Holy Ghost to keep us now. I need a keeper. He's in the keeper in the house. Anybody in the house need a keeper. Amen. The Holy Ghost is your keeper. He keep you when you lay down in the noonday. When you lay down on the bed, there's a Holy Ghost of keeping you. The Holy God from heaven. Somebody better say the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. My God Almighty. Hey. Not by my, not my power, but by oh, the spirit. spirit of the Holy Ghost. Oh, Jesus said, It's the Holy Ghost. My God Almighty. That put the word in your mouth. Is the Holy Ghost that delivered to you. Somebody said, Invite me. Invite me. And he walks with me. And he talks with me. And he tells me that I am his own. Somebody be a dance in the Holy Ghost. Yes, Nobody yes. can do you like the Holy Ghost. Yes, yes, yes. Get the Holy Ghost here. Yes, your daddy yes. can help you. Oh, my, your mama can help you. Yes, you better yes. learn to call on the Holy Ghost. Yes. Call on Jesus. Yes. He's a friend that's to get closer to the brother. Come on now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. He will come where you call him. He won't carry. Come on, church. Who believe that? Huh? He's not going to carry. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody give me praise. Yes, Come on. Somebody give me praise. Huh? My God. My God. Oh, God. A God that cannot fail. The Bible said he will never leave you. I forsake him. Huh? But he made a way for his for you. Huh? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huh? We don't need another president. We need the Holy Ghost. Come on, church. We don't need another politician. We need the Holy Ghost. Come on, church here. We don't need nobody to tell you what to do by the Holy Ghost. If my people are not called by my name, to humble themselves and pray, yeah. seek my face and turn from the wicked ways, then the Bible says, then I will hear from heaven and hear the name. If America needs healing, you're going to heal and the Holy Ghost. Come on. Somebody said the Holy Ghost. Oh, God. Oh, somebody said the Holy Ghost. Oh, 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 it's me for I, I am done. I'm no good without Jesus. Look at your neighbor say, you're no good. Without Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God. He want to open doors for you tonight. God want to bless you tonight. Cleanse yourself, oh, wicked generation. Purge yourself, oh, wicked nation. Let the Lord purge you. Let the Lord guide you. Hallelujah. Let the Lord Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody praise him. Uh, uh, for the step of a good being is ordered by the Lord. Look at your neighbor say, my step is ordered. I don't know about you, but I know where I'm going. Jesus got this. Hallelujah. And I'm getting somewhere. Glory to God. I was young. I know I'm old. I never see the righteous was saved. Or the seed begging bread. Look at your neighbor say, you're not going to beg bread. I'm a lender. Not a borrower. Come on now. It's 2020. God is turning things around. 2020. God is giving you a fresh word. In 2020, we're going to rise up like an army of the Lord. Rise up in the Holy Ghost. Preach the word. Come on with conviction. Let the Holy Ghost take control. And this is what wrong with the church. We're not giving the Holy Ghost free access. Someone has said free access, Holy Ghost. Holy God from heaven. Preaching with addiction. Preaching with demons and devils. Come on, church. Get out of the pulpit and join with the word. Someone said, hold on to the word. Hold on to the word. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Ah, God, hallelujah. You don't need nobody help but the Holy Ghost. That's what you need this season. Amen. Yeah. God fix it to open your eyes in the dream in the midnight hour. going to show you his glory. The Bible said the whole world is full of his glory. And God is not going to show you his glory until your eyes begin, become open. Yeah. Now, Elijah said, open his eyes, God, that we can see there's more for us than what's against us. Yeah. Let him see, God, how great you are. Stop yeah. panicking in 2020. God got this. Stop yeah. going now. Stop Alleluia. going to bed, sleepless night, worrying and complaining. God got this. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, God got this. Holy God. Oh, my finance is getting better. My health is getting better. My relationship with Christ is getting better. 2020. God is changing some stuff in 2020. Anybody want to receive that? Anybody get ready to receive the glory in 2020? Come on, praise him. Praise him because he's great. Praise him because there's none like him. There is none like him. Amen. Amen. Come on, come on. Woe is me. But I am undone. The Bible talks about the man of God. And cried, amen, amen, and reminded God how great he was, amen, hallelujah. And God had 50 more years to his life in a season where we're going to have to turn his face unto God, amen. Turn back to God, amen. Are you hearing the church? Yeah. Turn unto God. Ah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let him, let him bless you, let him bless you, let him bless you. You ain't that great. Let God do it. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. Yeah. We ain't got to cry it and carry that load and carry it. Put it in Jesus' hand. Yeah. 2019, you're crying over the same thing you're crying over today. Come on, man. And Jesus says, I put it in my hand. Yes, Lord. Cast the tears upon me because I care for you. Amen. Amen. Who Amen. believe that? Amen. Who believe that? Amen. Yes, Amen. Let Jesus do it. Amen. Glory to God. We thank God again for tonight. Amen. Thank God again. Amen. For passing the mic experience on tonight. And we experience the prophetic anointing tonight. We experience the word on tonight. Amen. We experience the power of the Holy Ghost tonight. And the greater is coming. Who believe that? As the greater is coming. Greater is coming. They shut up. I said, greater is coming. Come open the mouth. I said, greater is coming. Because greater is he that is in me. And he that is in the world. Oh, God, help us here. Greater is coming. And I'm living on an open heaven. And the devil is still alive. Amen. I will run this race. Before we close out, Brother Robin needs healing right now. So let's pray for him. I heard the Lord say to do something perfect in the Lord. And I believe if we God. lay hands on this water. Yes. And as he drinks this water that just sore brother has had for a week. Glory a week God. or two weeks, Brother Robin. A week is going to go away in Jesus' name and stay away. Thank Thanks, you, Jesus. Brother Robin, we're going to pray for you. I hear Let him come on here and sit right here. Glory yes. to God. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Shantakasi. Brother, the devil tried to discourage you and tried to put you down. But there's a season where you're going to have to lift your hand and say, Devil, you a liar. I come too far to turn back now. Glory to God. Just lift your hand. Just lift your hand. I said, I come too far to turn back now. Healing in his body. Healing now. 
Shataboho, Mir of Shatabaha, Rotaboho Shatabaha, Kihi Karabaho. He sent his word and your word healing. The Bible says healing is a children's burning. Holy God, I'm by his stripes, I were healed, and I am healed. Glory to God from heaven. Thank you for your healing power. Hallelujah. Glory to God from Zion. Heko Tobo Shanta. God has given me an anointing, a healing power of anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, God will lay hands on your servant for complete healing. In Jesus' name, glory to God. The waters of Jordan, I command this water to be stirred seven times by the Spirit. And as he drinks seven times, I hear the Lord say, He's going to heal him in Jesus' name. Drink seven times. Glory to God. Glory to God. Shetta ma shetta. Rutu shetta ma shetta. Rutu shetta. Rutu shetta ma shetta ma shetta. Rutu shetta ma shetta ma shetta. Who Shapapa in Canada? See, that condition to shoot Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He couldn't swallow. He can swallow now. Glory to God. We'll give God glory. Let's give God glory. Let's give Him glory. Shanta kubasi. Shanta kubasi. Come on, oh, shanta kubasi. Hey, hey, come on, come on, let's see. Come on, let's see. By the power of Jesus. Brother, the, the devil, the devil trying to attack your mind even now. Mm. The devil coming against your mind. He, he come with distraction. He come to, to pull you away from the vision. Now he shut down my heart. Glory to God. If you, without a vision, the people perish. Glory to God. And we praying for a sound mind. We praying for a sharp mind. We praying for the Holy we praying for the mind of Christ, Holy God from heaven. Set a loose the holy God of us. Loose he came to Roman to Shabbat. Holy God, he shed a boho. Glory to God from Zion. You will be the men of God according to me. God will say that we will be the men of God according to me. You will not be forsaken, said God, but you will raise up. You will mount up with wings like eagles. God say you're going to see again. God say I'm going to open your eyes to see again. We come against them lying devils. We come against them lying spirit. Holy God from heaven. That try to conflict your mind. Turn your mind. We curse it from the root. In the name of in the name of Jesus Christ, you will go forward. You will be the man of God he called you to be. To preach in 2020. To stand up in 2020. And declare the works of God in 2020. The devil is a liar. You not going to die. But you're going to live and proclaim the works of God. In this season, I heard God says, in this season, I'm going to walk with you, men of God. And I'm going to talk with you even in the midnight hour. God says, I got you in the palm of my hands. And the devil can't pluck you out. God says, I'm giving you fresh anointing. I'm giving you fresh word. I'm giving you a supernatural anointing. In this season, sing it, God. Somebody praise it here. Somebody praise it huh? in this place. Welcome to Moshekabobosha. Look at me, brother. Open your eyes and look in my eyes. 
Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, it is so, it is so, there it is, it is done in Jesus' name, somebody give God praise, somebody give him some worship, he's worthy to be praised, oh God help us here, I said he's worthy to be praised, come on now, who believe that, who believe that, Amen. He's doing it. He Amen. Even right now. Can you see better, brother? Glory to God. He sees five fingers. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. You couldn't see it like that before, could you? Thank you, Jesus. A little bit, but you can see me clear. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, let me real quick, Pastor. Now, when we prayed earlier and you drunk the water seven times, you said you couldn't swallow before, but you can swallow now, right? Yeah. Amen. And now your eyes are becoming clear. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is in this place tonight. He's doing miracle signs and wonders. Glory to God. Glory to God. And we're certain for God in glory. Yes, God. Amen. Glory. We give him all the glory and all the praise. Jesus. We say, Jesus. Oh, come on, church. I yes. say, it is Jesus. Amen. The Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. We get excited up in this place. Amen. Amen. That's it. Church. Church. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is Jesus. Amen. That saved me. Amen. Amen. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Somebody always need to testify. Yeah. Amen. Who delivered you and who set you free? Somebody waiting for you to testify. Who gave you that hope you have? Amen. Who, yeah. who gave you that salvation that you have? Amen. Who, who, who set you free? Amen. Somebody said, Jesus. Jesus. I just want to say, hey, I feel a little bit better. Amen. Amen. Can I help you feel better? Yes, Jesus. I know I struggled at the first of the service. Uh-huh. But that was nothing but the devil. Uh-huh. Yeah. Trying to get to my throat. Trying to get me to shut up. Come on, brother. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to shut up about my Lord's love. Amen, brother. About my Lord's love. Right. Ain't no <clears throat> way. I wouldn't serve a God that didn't love him. Amen, brother. I wouldn't serve a God that didn't love me for nothing. Amen, Just he brother. died on the cross for me. <laughs> Just Amen. died on that cross for me. And for you. Amen. And I'll serve him to the day I die. Amen, brother. I'll proclaim his gospel to the day I die. Yes, Hallelujah. Oh, glory to amen, God. Amen. Jesus. Amen. We thank God for that barry. Amen. He stepped out. Amen. Yes. And, and tonight is his debut. Amen. Glory yes. to God. Amen. His wife was watching. So yes, glory to God. Amen. 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 And, 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 and the greatest journey starts with a first step. Amen. you got to have a first step. Amen. You gotta step out. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. We thank God for everyone that come out. Amen. Glory to God. We enjoy it. Amen. 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 Yeah. We give Him glory. Hallelujah. And we come back again next Friday night. Next Friday night.